So I want to share with you another uh, customer story. You briefly heard uh, from him in the first video that I showed you on the customers, but I thought since he was here, uh, we should bring him up here and uh, you know talk to you, uh, talk, have him tell his story. So please welcome to the stage, Jim Davis. Jim. Welcome. Good. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to Nashville, fellow California. Yes. I saw you got here a little early too. You've been having some fun? Wanted, wanted to avoid all the weather that Nashville has that California doesn't. Right, right. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about UCI Health and uh, what your role is there. Sure. Uh, so UCI Health is Orange County, California's uh, only level one trauma center. Uh, 450 beds providing you know critical care for 3 million plus in throughout Orange County. So my, my job as the leader, CTO uh, for UC Irvine Health is you know, all infrastructure, security, biomedical engineering, as well as end user computing. So why I'm here. Pretty big room at. That's great. So I, I assume being in California, the uh, UCI and being part of the University of California has a sustainability initiative. Can you talk a little bit about yeah. what you guys, how you think about it? Yeah, absolutely. So as part of the state of California, we, we have 8% reduction year over year, um, you know, in our carbon footprint as well as uh, power consumption. So <clears throat> we're doing everything we possibly can to find ways to reduce power from the data center and user computing as well as, you know, how do I have less staff and vehicles on the road uh, providing support for, for all of Orange County. And are you able to track some of those savings at this point? Absolutely. I mean, we've got, we've got boxes, you know, within, within every data center, within every building. Um, so we're, we're actually able to watch uh, our data center go from over 400 and 450 kilowatts down to 200 kilowatts by just getting rid of a lot of this equipment that was powering, you know, powering all of our end user computing. Yeah, well, we just came from Europe, right, where in uh, January they initiated a new law that says if you have a 500 employees or more, you actually have to start reporting back. So kind of like data and GDPR, they're a little ahead of us, but I think you can see California is uh, trailing in terms of the sustainability initiatives there. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how you're using iGel, and I know the whole ecosystem's here, your partner that uh, you buy product from E360 is here. So t tell us a little bit about kind of how you're leveraging this beautiful ecosystem to deliver and use their compute solutions for the hospital. Yeah, so yeah, with E360, thank you to the, all, all of the team there, Team LP, Mike. Um, you know, we're, as you can see here, we opened up a few clinics um, within the last few months. And, you know, with, with LG, uh, we were able to deploy a lot, of, a lot of these solutions that, you know, really kind of revolutionized what we were doing, being able to tap in with, with Improvata, instantaneous desktops, so as the clinicians went from room to room, it's a much, much better experience for them. Uh, we're also saving a ton in power. I mean, it, this is a Leeds Platinum building, so we're able to actually have devices here that are consuming far less power than we have at our, at our medical center, reducing the needs uh, for large generators, diesel storage, et cetera, throughout all of our campus. That's great. So uh, I know all the hospitals were under a little bit of strain during the last few years. How did uh, IGEL help you through the COVID time? So, um, you know, obviously, if you, if you go back to those dark days, early days of COVID, you know, we were, we were asked to send everybody home. Uh, we, even in the hospitals, we had to separate all of our clinicians. They couldn't be within six feet of each other. So we had to find ways to, to we do We can this. get closer now. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. No, no mask anymore. Um, so we were, we're, we were able to, you know, repurpose devices. We had a, a bunch of iGel devices that were used for training or labs. We were taking those right out of those, those lab areas and putting them in areas that had no network, uh, barely any power. We were, we were really pressing the, uh, the outlets there. So with iGel, a lot less power consumption. So we were able to start standing up, you know, clinics within clinics. Uh, to help take care of the patients. And like Todd, are you seeing any uh, new use cases for Agile? Absolutely. Um, while, we, while we did send a lot of users home, about 40% of our users, um, you know, I don't think the E360 team knows this, but I'm going to ask them here pretty soon, is how, how, do I, how do I start getting these devices to people at home? You know, if, rather than have to ship laptops that are, you know, bulky, expensive, how do I send these all-in-one devices? What solutions are there to send everybody home, as well as now start moving into our inpatient units so that we can, again, lower power, 
I don't need a whole bank of batteries everywhere to power these size, less power consumption. Yeah, those batteries are expensive too, right? Uh, yeah, so how do I, is all the CFOs in the room, I can, save, I can save money and then reduce power, better clinician experience. Well, Jim, thank you for being here. Thank you, Jed. Yeah, have thank a good, everyone. good show.